He's an award-winning singer-songwriter from Ireland who has performed as support or in concert with many of the world's top artists, including James Taylor, Bono and Bob Geldof. He's released five studio albums already and has another on the way. Here on a New Zealand tour, it is an honour for us to welcome Declan O'Rourke to the cafe. Yes, Thank welcome you. Declan. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here. Uh, you've been doing this for a while, haven't you? Did you get uh -huh. your first guitar from a priest when you were 13 in Australia? I did, yeah. It was a total accidental thing. Um, I was, my parents took us up to this place called Kyabram, which is near the Murray River in, in uh border between New South Wales and Victoria. And we were staying in this house, uh, and there was a priest there, and he had two guitars. And I snuck away and kind of just got one, and I was, you know. And he walked by the door and saw me playing it, and I thought, oh no, I'm caught, you know. And we were leaving a couple of days later, and he said, I think this belongs to you. Wow. Oh, nice. It was really it's nice. It gave me two chords. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. And are you self-taught or did you go and have lessons? I mean, you know, did you ever think that people like Ronnie Woods would be, you know, one of your fans and you'd be touring the world playing with some of the world's best musicians when you picked up that guitar? No. No, I never thought that, but uh, I suppose you want it, you know. But I am, I suppose, as self-taught as you can be. Right. Because you pick things up along the way from every, everybody is your teacher. Yeah. Isn't that what they say? It's true. Now, this is your first time touring in New Zealand, but you have been here on holiday and you've got that connection too because you played with uh, Beck Runger in, in Europe. That's who has, right. was on our show this week, earlier this week. Was she? Yeah, that's yeah. great. I was talking to her last week. That's great. Um, yeah, well, I was in around 2002, I was playing guitar for a good friend of mine. It was just before I put out my own first record. And uh, he was doing extremely well, you know. like you know, saturation point, every household in Ireland had a copy of his record. Who was it? Paddy Casey is his name. Okay. Still, we're still best mates. And, um, but Bick was coming to Ireland and she was on Sony and he was on Sony. And, you know, they were going to put a band together for her. And uh, they kind of naturally came to us and said, can you guys? And so I think I helped put a little band together and we went on a little tour of Europe. Mm. That's awesome. And you obviously still connected to her if you spoke to her last week. Yeah, it was lovely. And, but she, a lovely time. And she was a really wonderful person. I actually learned quite a few lovely things from her. Good. And, and not only Big Runga, but, uh, you know, James Taylor. Would he be one of your faves? He's, well, what can you say about James <laughs> yeah, Taylor? Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful man, yeah. What, what is it like to be, I guess, you know, performing with him? Does that... Yeah, you know, make you go, wow, this is crazy that yeah. it's happening. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had a little girly scream after <laughs> I met him. You know. Did you go yeah. and jump behind so go? <laughs> we were playing at a festival in, in uh, North Carolina just back in April. Uh, it's called Merle Fest. It was 70,000 people. Really, really nice festival. Grown up festival. Not the kind where they're just shouting and saying, give us yeah. your fastest, loudest song, you know. <laughs> and uh, it was in the afternoon. We had the main stage and I was on a, a show with uh, a band called the Transatlantic Sessions. We call them God's Band. They're just <laughs> the cream of the cream, you know. And uh, the boss of the band is Jerry Douglas, who's the world's most famous dobro guitar player. Plays with Alison Krauss, and he did soundtrack for Oh Brother Where Art Thou. If, oh, it, wow. if, yeah. if you hear dobro on any record, it's Jerry. You know, he's amazing. And we get along really well. We kind of we just have some kind of, you know, synergy. And so he put me on right before James. And I was like, wow. And he was a really lovely man. He sat, stayed in the wings while I was on. And he came out on stage and uh, sat down, 70,000 people, and, and introduced himself and then said, wow, Declan, what a great song, you know? And so I just went, <laughs> oh, a long no, way it no, no. wow. yeah. Hey, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting Thank with you today and looking forward to your performance too and your sixth album which is out very, very soon as well. Uh, Declan O'Rourke is currently touring New Zealand. His next stop is New Plymouth tomorrow night. You can check out Event Finder for tour details and if you can't make it along, then his latest album in full colour is available right now. Stars at night Who dreamt of someone so divine? Someone like you and made them moon. Love can make you ask some 
funny questions now and then But just remember the alternatives For I remember when I was lonely and unhappy And my lips were cold as ice But you kissed me and good heaven now I'm here in paradise So if ever I'm not kissing you Or looking in your eyes I won't be blind and I won't cry I look up high and gladly sigh and thank the guy who puts the rainbow in the sky who lights the stars at night who dreamt of someone so divine Someone like you and made them moon. Someone like you and made them 